Saturday, right? Um, I almost totally forgot that I had registered for this GRE prep class. And okay, so let me go over yesterday because I showed a, a video of the choir from my church. And like basically that is the choir that I sing with. I got off work a bit later and didn't make it on time to rehearsal. So I was, you know, just singing from the actual pews, like where the congregation usually sits. And so I was just watching and I decided to record it so you guys could see, um, you know, what we have to do for choir rehearsal. So I sing in the choir for my church and uh, we haven't sung, like last Sunday we didn't sing, which is why I was able to record like me getting ready um, but usually we have to be at church earlier on Sundays when we sing. So tomorrow I will be getting ready even earlier and I will show you guys a little, I'll try and show you guys a little bit of me walking up to the church and the choir room and everything like that. But it's not, it's like one of those things like, even like I was telling you about, um, recording in like a spa and things like that, it's supposed to be relaxing. And I feel like church is in the, on the same kind of, on a different plane because, you know, it's a place of worship and especially when we're ministering, um, the choir is ministering, we want to get in a mindset of, you know, just reverence to God and and get in, get in the right place, you know. There's a lot of distractions that go on around us every day and so, I don't know if I'll be able to record um, much tomorrow as far as like going into like usually when we go into church on Sunday when we go in early we do a sound check and then we go back to the choir room and so I think I may be able to record a little bit when I go back to the choir room but not that much because I'll be trying to get ready um, for our ministry so Anyways, that was yesterday, that little clip, and that's what we'll be singing tomorrow. And so I got home from choir rehearsal pretty late. It was probably about 9.30 or so. And then I pretty much um, didn't do anything, but like I worked on like the last video that I posted about my grocery shopping struggles and then I went to sleep but as you can see I'm still tired I did not remember that I had this GRE prep class today it's like a day seminar that I registered for at my university and it's supposed to help you get ready for the GRE at least like give you the tools and things that you need to get ready. So this is kind of like my jump start on preparing for the GRE. And um, I paid $35 <laughs> to register for the class. So it's probably almost about eight right now. So I have about an hour to get ready. All I'm gonna do is get in the shower. I'm gonna wash my hair and that way I can, you know, style it in a way actually I'm not gonna wash my hair I'm gonna co-wash my hair because I just washed my hair and with the weather it's been like my scalp's been pretty dry so I just had it up in a bun last night and yeah so I'm just gonna take a shower co-wash my hair and then I'm gonna do my hair and do my makeup which is not gonna be anything um drastic or anything and then I'm gonna go to the seminar. And the seminar is supposed to go from nine to three, I think. So I'll be in there and I'll and I'll definitely try and record um, me going up to the campus and going into the seminar because I should get there early. If I get there early, I will, if I get there a little bit early, because <laughs> I'll probably get there with like five minutes to spare, honestly. So if I get there a little bit early, I'll record me going in and show you guys at least a little bit of the setup. They're supposed to have breakfast and snacks and stuff and lunch. Um, and I'll record a little bit about like showing the actual instructor. And um, and then we'll go from there. The rest of my day after three is not really planned out. I really wanna go see that movie Risen that I was telling you guys about in one of my other vlogs uh, that was on 
the petty uh, manicure day so that is out now and I do want to see it so I might go see that I also want to see about finding something to wear for tomorrow because I haven't really bought any new um, church clothes in a while but I might just wear something that I already have especially because the weather is getting better all right so I'll check in with you guys I'm gonna try and do something different depending on how sunny it is outside I'm gonna try and do my makeup outside but we'll see all right bye guys and good morning <laughs> Hey guys okay so um yes this is my final makeup look from what you guys saw this morning nothing spectacular just basic coverage all right so I have about 10 minutes to get to this class um, this is my outfit for the day um, it's just a sweater some jeggings and some Gianni Beanie uh, shoes I really wanted to talk about this outfit you see today I grabbed my laptop bag and a purse but um Oh, this is a Michael Kors purse, just in case you guys are wondering. Anyways, um, this outfit, I really wanted to talk to you guys about it real quick, just because I want you to know, like, I really have found some really cute stuff at Walmart, and I, growing up as a teenager, like, hated, like, going to Walmart, like, my parents would take us there to get school clothes, but I understand a bit now why. Um, they do they have some stylish things especially for women um, I got the sweater from Walmart I got the jeggings from Walmart like I said in another video I really love Walmart's jeggings leggings everything <laughs> everything eggings I love from Walmart and um, these Gianni Beni uh, Gianni beanie uh, shoes I got on sale they're so cute like they're like platforms and I got them on sale also last week for $38. And uh, I wish I could show you a better close-up. I feel like I might fall, but. So it's kind of like a suede material, but they're so cute, guys. And um, $38, so Gianni Beanie shoes are usually like $100. So to get them on sale, I actually still have this sticker <laughs> underneath the shoe, let's see. Yeah, so these were regular $110, and I got them for $38. So go to Dillard's. They have some great, great shoe sales going on. For people with me, like me, that have bigger feet, um, it's a little harder because those tend to, they don't carry them. That's why I talked to them last week. They don't really carry a lot of those. Um, so you kind of have to catch the sale, but... I found some really great deals last weekend. So I'm probably going to go back to the mall today to try and find something for tomorrow for church um, and also to see what kind of sales they have going on. Um, so I will see you guys later. All right, bye. All right, Love guys, you. it is 9.08. I don't know if you can see that on the clock, but it's 9.08. I'm just pulling up. I think some other people are just getting here, so I'm going to ask them if they're going, going to the GRE class because I don't even know where it's at. Hopefully this lady is. I don't even know where it's supposed to be. Are you here for the GRE class? Yeah, me too. No luck. Alright, so... Uh, this lady was walking up and I was hoping that she was going to the GRE prep class. But she's moved. I don't remember where this thing is supposed to be hosted at. I think it should be in this lecture hall. That's where I'm hoping. Or else I'm gonna be walking around trying to find it. So uh, this bag 
it's annoying me. So much. <sighs> Dress for success. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they got the water fountain going. I don't know why I love this thing so much. I just love water. Let's see. I don't know if it's actually in here or not. I'm just hoping. It's pretty quiet in here for it to be in here. I don't think it is. I'm gonna walk over. Actually, let me go look. Let's look. Um, I'm like looking in the mold. There's no one in the multi-purpose room, so I'm thinking it's in the other building. So let's go check that out. That's one great thing about dressing to impress or for success. Dress to impress or dress for success. Both of them are great things. That is the good thing about dressing for success or dressing to impress is that when you walk in late, at least you look good walking in late. <laughs> look, I'm serious. I'm, I'm so serious. There's like this rule of etiquette that I heard about. It's that you show up fashionably late and fashionably late, I guess, is like 20 minutes late. <laughs> So, no, I, I really don't like showing up late. But, like I said, if you have to show up late, at least I'm good. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Um, I don't like being out of breath either. Walking on these platforms, it's not that bad. I think the seminar might be in here. I'm probably going to log off because it is so hard for me to multitask. If you guys didn't see in my grocery shopping vlog, don't work. <laughs> so I'm probably going to sign off. Hello. Is this where the GRE? Yes, it is. Okay. What's your name? Tammy Summers. Okay, if you'll sign in here first, okay. yeah, print and sign. I know, I am late. Have they? They haven't started. Okay, great. Perfect. Uh -huh. It's right in there. Yeah. No okay. practice in there, you can sit where you like. Awesome, thank you. You're this off now look you see people it's super quiet so I'm gonna sign off and I'll talk to you guys later guys okay so I'm at the mall now my phone is at like 15% after being in that class so I just wanted to check in with you guys just trying to see if there's any good deals going on so I'm in Dillard's which is my favorite store I did see this shirt which I think is really cute I love any shirts with like shades or sunglasses especially like if it's like a cat or something wearing shades i think that's really cool but this is a um gianni beanie shirt and it has like the different cities like las vegas hollywood and it's on sale for 17 dollars, which is pretty good so yeah i just want to check in with you guys i just wanted to come to the mall because um 
after being in that class all day, like from nine to almost four o'clock, I'm like, I need to do something for myself. So I'm gonna hang out here, see if I can find any deals, and then I'm probably gonna go to the movies after this. So I have to show you guys these shoes. Like, Thank you. I'm gonna get them. <laughs> I can't not get them. <laughs> um, but yeah, these shoes are so cute. Let me show you guys. So yeah, Dillard's has some great sales going on today, as I thought they would. Let me show you some more that I like. Um, this is why we women should not go shopping no but like it's so great to get on on these deals but these shoes they go with exactly what i'm wearing today and they're on sale these are reba reba shoes and they're on sale for like 30 something dollars and then <laughs> are you showing somebody's shoes oh i'm just making a vlog <laughs> about shopping I like his stuff. It never works for me, though. Do you mind being in my vlog? Sure. Just, hey, hi. <laughs> she had on these boots earlier that were like so cute, but um, they weren't on. They they were on sale, but they didn't seem like they were on sale. Yeah, 138. Sorry, too much for on sale. Yeah. <laughs> these are great. They're only 31 dollars. Gianni Beanie. Yes. That's the deal. Yes. I love Gianni Beanie, and they are usually comfortable. They're just so high. So what's your vlog? Yeah, she's 5'11", and Hi. I'm 5'8 and a half without heels. Yeah, my vlog, I'm just starting my vlog. I'm oh, starting cool. my YouTube channel. <laughs> so yeah. Hi. <laughs> I got somebody on my vlog. <laughs> but yeah, these are BCBGs, and they're just like comfortable, cute good. little shoes. <laughs> Are twenty seven dollars, so you can still look cute even though you're comfortable in comfortable shoes. And then these Uggs, these Uggs are on sale right now for. These Uggs are on sale for sixty dollars. Regular hundred and twenty, and they're slippers. They're these are seven and a half, and I usually wear like a nine. But I think I'm gonna get them anyway, cause they're just slippers. They are the in, but they behind. Yeah, so right, so they're slippers, and they are fitting like they will stretch. So I may get them, I may not, I don't know. But they feel so comfortable, like Uggs are so comfortable anyway. Mm -hmm. And they're just fitting just, just a little bit small. Okay, so I just wanted to do a quick haul with you guys with everything that I got from the mall. Um, so I ended up getting the BCBG Generation shoes. And I really wanted to get these because I felt like they were so cute. Like, I haven't found any flats that look good on my feet. I'm pretty tall. And so I really wanted to find some flats that are dressy, um, but are comfortable, but not too, like, lazy looking. And so I'm so glad I found these BCBG next. It's a BCBG Gener... <laughs> I'm getting this all wrong. So BCBG, it's called Ineration. So BCBG Ineration, but like it's a play on words because you know BCBG and then the G generation. So yeah, but um, so these are the shoes and they have this cute little bow on the front. So when you're looking at the shoes from head on, they look like they're flats, right? But then they have this platform on it. So that's why I thought it's like, it's a little dressier than a flat, but these are just so cute. I just love the bow. And I could have even worn them today with the outfit that I had on today instead of the um, higher platforms that I wore. So this is both shoes. 
together. And again, all this at Dillard's. And so these shoes were regular $79 and they were on sale for $27.65. So I'm really happy with this buy. All right, so those are the BCBG iteration or generation. And then I got the Uggs. It's like this Indian kind of Native American tribal pattern of the Uggs and it's on the box too. And this is what they look like up close and personal. <laughs> so it has that tribal kind of Native American artwork and the fur on the inside and they were just so comfortable and I if you were watching like earlier um, these were seven and a half my foot was like sitting right here on the edge and they were the last pair so if you guys are wondering why I got them because they were so comfortable and if you guys know Uggs, Uggs are normal $100 uh, or $120 or even more expensive than that. So these were $60 on sale. So they were 50% off. So they were $120, a regular $120 and $60 were uh, $60 with the 50% off. And these are going to be so awesome to wear around the house. I am going to love walking around in these. I have some Ugg house shoes already and they're so comfortable but they're like the slippers and they go around the back of your foot and these will be nice to just be able to slip on and they have the hard bottom too whereas my um my house shoes I wouldn't want to walk outside with those um because they're house shoes. These um they're slippers and they have a harder um bottom to them so you could walk outside with these, you know, grab the paper or take the trash out to the street and be okay walking around in these. So I was happy with this buy as well. And the last pair of shoes that I got was the Reba shoes, which these are Reba McIntyre, her line. And, um, she has a lot of cute stuff that I've seen so far. This pair of shoes I so loved. Um, right when I put them on, they kind of have this like snake skin pattern. And it's like a blue and brown kind of color. I don't know if you guys can really see that. But the thing about this, uh, this color is it reflects off of whatever you're wearing. So... I could have worn it with these because it really picks up off of whatever the color is that is closest to the shoe. And that is what I really loved about these because they're really versatile and they'll pick up off of whatever you're wearing. So really cute, really cute shoes. Um, this is the pair together. <laughs> I love the wooden heel and they were just so cute on. And these were regular 30, well, they were regular $98, but they were on sale for 34, was it 34.30? But they gave me an additional 10% off. I asked for an additional 10% off because they, you could tell that they had been walked on. So I asked for an additional 10% off and that was another factor in why I bought the Uggs as well because I told them like hey I'm getting three pair of shoes and these you can tell have been walked in so I really you know feel like I should get an extra percentage off and if you do I'll get all three so they did give it to me so those were all the shoes that I got and I am definitely happy with all of the purchases I'm telling you guys this is the right time to go to Dillard's with the change in the seasons um, they have a lot of even like older summer slash spring stuff on sale because they're trying to get rid of all of that old stock even at the outlets it's kind of the same thing going on right now so with the i only got two items of clothing and um this is a gianni beanie 
kind of dressy halter. I'll just show you guys kind of like what it looks like or what it would look like on. So it's really like flowy and I just love the color. I love this color. Like it's one of my favorite colors. I'm trying to get, try not to get makeup on the dress. But um, I, I love this color. It's one of my favorite colors on my skin, on my skin complexion. And so I just love it. It's like really flowy and the back is longer than the front. And that style is really good for my body type. It's just that flowy kind of uh, long feel. And so the front is long and flowy. And in the back, it kind of comes up a little bit higher in the back. And it has this cute button here on the back to like a, let me show you. So it has this cute little opening in the back. And I like the high neck here. So it's not giving away too much cleavage. But this was such a great buy. And this one was, let's see what the price was. So this one was a regular $79 and it was on sale for $27.65. So that's the first item and I definitely like plan on wearing this I probably putting on like a white blazer on top of this with either some white pants or um, some even cream pants or something like that just really spring and summer flowy nice and light so the other shirt which I showed you in the video I did end up getting is another Gianni beanie I just Again, like in the video, love anything with shades. I think shades are so cool, retro. Like, I mean, even in the video, you saw the shades I had on. And um, it's just kind of flowy cotton t-shirt material. Again, you can dress this up with a blazer, like a black blazer on top of this with some jeans and then some heels. You can definitely dress this t-shirt up. And I love doing that kind of stuff so that you... You're not too dressy like this under a, you know, a blazer. It'll be, you know, dressy but casual at the same time. Um, this was regular $49 and it is uh, on sale for $17.75. So again, Gianni Beanie. So that is all I got today. And I was going to go to the movies, but... After that class and after going shopping, I'm just going to chill. I got some Chinese from the mall and I'm going to eat that and watch a movie at my house. I have Pitch Perfect 2. I also have Fast and the Furious 7, which I haven't watched. So I have some movies that I haven't seen that I can catch up on here. So I hope you guys have a blessed weekend. I definitely enjoyed myself and... I will see you guys maybe tomorrow before I go to church. If not, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.